Navarre Beach. He's just hanging out. We got us a squirrel at our campsite. All right, so we are at Santa Rosa RV Resort in Navarre Beach. And as you can see, it is right, right on the sound side, not the Gulf side, but all of these sites are waterfront, probably I don't know, 20 or 30 of them. We could not get one because they were all booked up. But as you can see, this park has plenty of, I guess, shade trees and bushes between sites to make it feel somewhat private, even though you are in a park. Um, our site is very private, which makes it really, really nice. There's some big trees and bushes and things on both sides so we can't see or really even hear our neighbors but this is a very nice campground it's very well maintained all the grass is cut bushes trimmed there's no trash anywhere but we are going to walk down towards the pool area and the pier and um, show you guys that they do have some kayaks and canoes you can rent. And then they have a really nice area up in front of the bathhouse. Just a fire pit and some trees. Good reviews on this place for their breakfast burritos so neither one of us are really breakfast people <laughs> but we like burritos but we like breakfast and, and we're on we vacation. like burritos yes so we are headed to shark baits for a breakfast shark burrito. bites shark bites for a breakfast burrito that's a lot it is that's a lot to say um so stay tuned we'll be right back burritos it's pretty so, big the guy that we met uh, we met a couple from Indianapolis and um, the guy said that it was the size of a baby the only thing <laughs> I'm worried, the only thing I'm worried about is it looks like they only gave us two napkins but <laughs> as long as my wife eats her burrito the correct way she always unwraps the entire thing instead of instead of it again. yeah instead of leaving it in the foil Okay, so you just rip the foil. As long as she eats it the correct way. Okay, like let's then we'll be, be honest. Okay. You are the messier of the two of us. Not when it comes to burritos. <laughs> like we eat burritos. That All right, so. Hang on, I'm, I'm so. I'm, no, mine is link sausage, eggs, tater tots, Fiesta blend cheese, bacon, and tater tots. And a syrup drizzle, right? And a syrup drizzle. And then they give you a salsa to go with it. And so mine is the big country, which just has the eggs, three eggs, sausage links. Three, yeah, three eggs, sausage links, cheese, and tater, tater tots. tots. Yeah. 
All right, so. I didn't get a, I didn't get a syrup drizzle. All right, I'm going in. Cheers. Burrito cheers. kicker on mine is that syrup drizzle. Really? Yes. I got it. Yes. That syrup drizzle mm. sets it off. Makes it. Alright. I'm going with the sauce now. I have a feeling it's going to be hot and I'm a little bit worried. It's not too bad, but I didn't put a lot on mine. Mmm. Mmm. really good. The sauce is Cholula. If you're familiar with Cholula, that's what the sauce is. I like Cholula. It's got the the round wooden ball for the top for the cap. Oh, okay. It's really good. Um, so this is when I said three eggs, it's scrambled eggs. It's scrambled to perfection. I do not like wet scrambled eggs. I don't know about you. No, and fancy chefs fan. love love wet. Egg. I don't. I don't get it. All right, you gotta try. Mine. Again, she doesn't know how to eat a burrito. You saw that, right? Mm. She's pulling stuff out. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he's right. All right. The maple drizzle is the way to go. But this is really good. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and dip and not lose my very good my, my innards. This is as I'm not gonna say it's the best breakfast burrito mm. I've ever had. But this is as good of a breakfast burrito as you can get. I don't think I've had many breakfast burritos in my lifetime, but this is the best that I've ever had. It's damn good. Who? Where else have you had a breakfast burrito that's better? I need. I need to know. I don't know right offhand. Okay. But I don't want to come out and say it's the best without thinking about <laughs> all the ones I've ever had. Okay. I can tell you this. Mm, you can see the tater tot in that one. I can tell you this with 100% certainty. This is not the last time we eat here this week. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. Now I get one with the syrup. <laughs> yeah. Because the one I wanted, mm -hmm. they were sold out of. It was a spicy sausage. Mm. What was it? Was it Cajun? Yeah, no. Cajun. Yeah, it was Cajun sausage. I thought. They opened at seven. We got here at nine thirty, and they were already sold out of their special. So it must be it must be pretty darn good. Yes. So our first of probably several <laughs> trips to Shark Bites. So yeah, we highly recommend if you're in the area or know someone that's coming, recommend it. Yeah, if you're in Pensacola, Fort Walton, or Navarre, and you want a good breakfast burrito at a unique place, this check it, it out. And they do have seating behind behind the shack. Yeah. Um, there was several couples there. A little so ocean view seating. It's nice. We didn't so. want to do our video and disrupt their breakfast. So, yeah. came to the chapter. Anything else, baby? I guess that's all we got. We were in the laying in the chairs for a while and started getting hot so we decided to come back out in the water cool off a little bit it's a little cold at first but you get used to it pretty quick and then it feels amazing got a cloudy sky today i think it's 84 degrees 83 or 84, 83 or 84 today so it's about perfect beach weather not too hot you're not drenched in sweat but it's warm enough that when you get in the water it feels refreshing seen several stingrays we were hoping to get on camera there's a shark right there that's not funny <laughs> <laughs> this beach is pretty empty 
We are... Uh, holiday weekend, yeah. But yeah, this is Memorial Day. Oh, that one got me good. <laughs> this is Memorial Day weekend. But we left. We didn't leave Navarre Beach. We drove past it, heading towards Pensacola. And we found this beach. It's called, is it Opal? Opal. It's called Opal Beach. And it's not private, but they charge for access. So it was... $25 a vehicle for seven day pass. But what's nice about it is it's not crowded at all. And they have, you see back there, they've got these pavilions with picnic tables. They got bathrooms back there. And then they have them over there as well. All the way down this beach, they've got these bathrooms and pavilions and picnic areas. So it makes it really nice. You know, regular public beach, there's usually no bathroom very close, nowhere to get in the shade if you don't bring your own. So this place is nice because, you know, if you had, a, you had a family or something, you could bring a picnic lunch and just go, when you get done at the beach or get tired and need a break, you can go under one of them pavilions and have lunch, a little snack, and then come right back to the beach and enjoy your day or, if you need to go to the bathroom, Mother Nature calls, and you don't want to go in the ocean. And it's one of those that you can't do in the ocean. Then you can go up there and use a nice private bathroom. Can you see these? Oh, that was so cool! That is so cool. I hope y'all could see those as clear as I could. Okay, here's some more. I'm gonna try to get really close and get some underwater footage. Okay, hopefully that underwater footage turned out pretty good. Hey guys, this morning we are at the, what's this called? Turtle, sea turtle, sea turtle Conservatory. Yeah. It's like a conservation area. They find uh, wounded and um, I guess endangered sea turtles, bring them here and I guess nurse them back to health and not sure if they end up living here forever or if they end up going back to the they sea. But, uh, I'm going to go in, see some sea turtles, and find out what else there is here at this place. Um, looks lots of stuff over here. Looks pretty cool. So that's the concert. Well, conservation yeah that's anyway um literally one pool with one turtle that they give a speech about that i have put in this video um it was five dollars to get in um they do have a small little gift shop um there was two turtles outside um they had some aquariums and things inside with yeah, some smaller some, turtles and fish and I things. I got some video of that too. We were kind of disappointed. Yeah. We thought it was going to be a lot more, but 
for what it is, it's really nice. And what they do is it's and what, important. And what they yeah. do is important. And it was only $5. Yeah. So we, we definitely got our money's worth. We got to see a turtle that has lost one of her front fins and one of her back fins is paralyzed. She got hit by a boat. She was wrapped up in fishing string and just, she Poor had a thing. hard life. Yeah. She and seems happy now. Her they, name's Sweet Pea. Yeah, her name's Sweet Pea and they said that she'll live another 60 years in that same aquarium and and she'll be fine so i did not know that they were solitary animals yeah it, it, it's not i mean I, you, I did learn some things yeah it, it's not what we were hoping it would be but it was still pretty nice yeah and Again, i mean five for, bucks. for five bucks i mean yeah per person so now we're, we're gonna go get some lunch i'm about to sneeze <laughs> bless you no Anyway, we're going to go get some lunch at the Shrimp Basket yep. because Debbie found some type, of, some type of fries they got that she's... Firecracker fries. Firecracker fries that she's excited about. So we didn't do breakfast today so that we could do an early lunch and still be hungry at dinner. Um, if you've been to Florida, you know there's Shrimp Baskets all over the place. Yes. But fun fact, I've never been to one because... Um, to me, it's kind of like a chain, and I try to stay away from chains when we're on vacation. But my wife wants the fries. She's going to get them fries. And it's it's a chain, but it's kind of just a Florida chain. Yeah. So maybe it's worth we'll checking out. Yeah. We'll let you know if it's worth it. We'll see. Hey, guys. So we are out here trying to get some great photos of this beautiful sunset we're about to see already pretty out here. Chris has got his camera gear ready to go. Or he's getting it ready to go. Just look how beautiful that is. We're at the Gulf Breeze Zoo. Yep, I said it right. Um, <laughs> it's over 50 acres. We are going to go in and check out some of their animals. It is a cloudy, cloudy day here in Navarre. The uh, ocean red flag is up, so we're going to. Yeah, bad conditions. To come this bad conditions for the beach, so we're trying to figure out what to do. Um, so we're going to check out some animals here at the zoo. All right, guys. So we got. Feed. The feed. The feed. <laughs> we can feed the giraffe, camels. Okay, so right off. Some the kind bat. of goats. Pretty parrot. Is that a parrot? I don't know what these things are. Sure, there's a sign somewhere that'll tell me. Is that a parrot? Toucan? I don't know. There's a blue one in oh, yeah, back so there. Is there a sign? What does that buy you some feed? said it so fast. Why? 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 <laughs> you don't know, it might. Camera not defogged yet. Not yet. It's all you, babe. <laughs> they were all in there taking a nap and six of them there's six of them they just keep coming out it's like a clown car no <laughs> Oh, here comes another one. Hi, 
of there. Oh, where did you go? <laughs> Debbie's about to feed some birds and she's probably going to freak out. Stick it, stick your stick out. Oh, he wants that lettuce. Walk over. Did they give us feed that these birds don't like? Stick it way out there. There it is. <laughs> she had her chance. She wasn't paying attention. And it scared her. I just gotta watch them. Come on, bird. All right, people, brace yourself. Don't go to the bathroom, don't go get a drink. You need to stay tuned, keep your eyes glued. Debbie's about to feed some giraffes. She's not excited. I'm gonna give them one whole leaf at a time. Taking that tongue out. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to photobomb. Oh no, you are perfectly fine, sir. Hey everyone, um, tonight uh, we are heading to Pensacola to McGuire's Irish Pub to meet our old friend Brody Joe for dinner. Uh, if y'all remember him, he's one of our subscribers that lives near Gulf Shore. So last year on our vacation, we met up with him and had two or three dinners, had an amazing time, love him to death. So we're about an hour and a half from where he lives. So we decided to meet halfway for dinner. Um, excited to see an old friend and uh, catch up. Absolutely, and we're excited about McGuire's. So we hear good things, and neither of us have ever been there. That is very true. So, uh, come along with us. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody! We are in Pensacola at McGuire's with our good friend Brody Joe. I'm going to get together, have a little bit of lunch. He's been here before. We have not, so. Hopefully we'll get something good and uh, just have a good time catching up with Brody. And I just gotta say we came to the perfect place, uh, the Irish pub, because I was born on St. Patrick's Day. So well, there you go, and there we're and we're Kelly's. So. <laughs>
Okay, guys, we had a fantastic supper. And, whew, boy, did we ever. Uh, we didn't get to film in there because it was very, very dark and it wouldn't show up. But yeah. um, definitely, <laughs> you get in here. Oh, Come I on, thought, I thought I was. <laughs> but definitely amazing food. If you're ever around the McGuire's, please check it out. You won't be sorry. Absolutely, we guarantee it. <laughs> hey, everyone. So, um, our Navarre Beach trip has come to an end and it is time to head back home to the great state of Kentucky. Um, you want to say anything? We had a great time. Great time. We really liked Navarre Beach. Um, I don't know that we'll return just because I think we're, um, we're very active when we go on vacation. We like to hike. We like to go and see things and um, not necessarily everything needs to have a price tag to it. <laughs> you know, we like to get out in nature and, you know, just explore cities. And Navarre Beach just didn't have a whole lot of that. Um, we were able to go into Pensacola and um, spend a day. But, you know, we, we just want a, a vacation spot where we can actually be still be active. If you just want the beach, it's fine. Yeah. Um, we honestly got kind of bored. <laughs> Give me something to see, something old, something historic, something, something to go do. You have me. We need something else. I for. just can't do the beach all day, every single day, like some people can. Um, and then also the food was not good. Um, it was not awful. But when you think of beach restaurants, you think of like good seafood, good burgers. Everything was very average, maybe even below average. And there was not very many options. Uh, we talked to Kathy, Debbie's cousin, and they go to Navarre a lot. And she even said, we go to Pensacola when we go eat. Yeah. Um, and we didn't want to do that because we've been to Pensacola and you know we've done most of the restaurants there. And um, we wanted to experience Navarre. That being said, I am highly disappointed in the food and the restaurant options in Navarre Beach. Other than that, we had a great time. Camper was flawless. Everything yeah. worked, no issues, plenty of room. You know. Yeah, so I think if you're just looking for a lazy, sleepy, small town beach atmosphere, Navarre Beach is perfect. Absolutely perfect. The yeah. beaches were beautiful. The water was great. The people were friendly. We're going to head home um and um uh, spent a lot of time editing we, this video because <laughs> yeah, we did stop at bucky's um so hopefully um this video will let you know whether or not you would like to go to navarre beach if you do and you have a camper the campground we stayed at was, yeah, was excellent great. loved it mm -hmm. um it was clean it was well kept the pool was nice everybody was great yeah um, there's privacy even though you're kind of I mean you're right next to each other like a normal RV park but yeah there's privacy like trees and bushes and stuff that kind of separate your saw another Brinkley we did Fr and they were from and, Kentucky yeah. and they bought theirs at the same place we bought yeah. ours so that was kind of neat funny. so anyway thanks for watching please subscribe um, if you like this video give us a thumbs up and um, I guess we will be back to food reviews for a couple weeks before our next trip See you on the next one. Bye.